Hello my fellow star warriors and may the force be with you. The 11th episode of the third and final season of the Bad Batch in the Star Wars universe is named Juggernaut. By a curious coincidence, a phrase which also reminds me of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Juggernaut is also the nickname for the Indian Super Football League club that I support, Odisha FC. Check out my short and long videos about science fiction and football and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Alright, with that out of the way, let's dive in. I love the silhouette parade that starts off every Star Wars episode. The iconic shapes of the characters and their helmets along with the red and blue shimmering lights to show their allegiance towards either the dark or the light side of the force sets the mood right away. Now. Spoilers alert, if you haven't seen The Bad Batch, including the first two seasons. I'll say this to you if you haven't watched this animated show. Show it to your kids. It sparks off imagination and that is very necessary for our kids who will be growing up with generative artificial intelligence. In this episode, Omega, the tiny child hero with an astonishing midi-chlorian count, has been captured by the villain, Dr. Hemlock. Hemlock is the poison that was force-fed to the Greek philosopher Socrates. Star Wars names a lot of its main characters with inspiration from Greek and Indian mythology, I think. For example, Ahsoka. Tell me what you think in the comments. Almost every episode is like a video game with mission objectives and stage progressions. In this one, Hunter, Wrecker and Crosshair have to accomplish a prison break which was another great show for the first two seasons and then jumped the shark, which is a TV trope, you know. It means that the show kind of went bad or turned sour and should have been cancelled or ended by its creative team before that happened. That's why this is the final Bad Batch season. Obviously, the Bad Batch achieves their objectives and get the information they need to rescue Omega from the clutches of the evil Dr. Hemlock with a little help from their friends, Beatles. I also like how their guns usually have a stun setting to knock out targets who need to stay alive. Staying alive, staying alive, ah, 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 ah. Staying alive, staying alive, staying alive. That's the song by Bee Gees. So on that musical note, I will end this thought share about the Bad Batch. Thanks for watching.